welcome to Nagaland TV. This is Gargi Deka. Today to you we bring a special program on a person who is not only a son of Nagaland but an icon. At a time when we Indians are expecting tremendous play by our 228 member strong contingent from India to the Tokyo Olympics 2021, we would like to take our viewers down the memory lane to the 1948 Summer Olympics. It is about a player known for his dedication, determination and his great valour. This is a story of a legendary football player. And yes, it is none other than the first Naga Olympian known as the barefooted genius, Dr. Talemara Ao. The 1948 Summer Olympics, the year after India gained its independence, Dr. T. Ao led the Indian national football team for the first time in the 1948 Summer Olympics held in London. Not only did Ao captain the Indian football team against France at the Games, he was also the flag bearer of the Indian contingent. The team played their first match against Burma and went on ahead to face the mighty professionals French team. Although France won the game, T. Ao and his team gave the well-equipped French team a tough fight much beyond their anticipation. Following this, the then Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth, was so impressed by the barefooted Indian team that she invited for dinner, which the team gracefully attended and regarded it as a real honour. At the post-match media interaction, when asked why the Indian players played barefooted, Talimara Ao famously replied with a statement that won the hearts of not just the English media, but the whole people of India, especially the Nagas. In India, we play football, whereas you play football, was his reply. And his, this comment didn't only win the heart to please British media, but made headlines in several London newspapers. As legend has it, Talimaran Ao was offered a contract with British club Arsenal, but the Indian politely turned it down. As glorious as it seems now, imagine how difficult it would have been to be leading a young team in London with only a few members of the Indian contingent who could speak fluent English, unclenching themselves from the shackles of the centuries ruled English. And amidst such a tricky socio-political scenario, Talimaran Ao ensured the team conducted itself admirably and even stood up for them whenever required. Talimaran Ao then retired from football in 1952, even though he was at the peak of his game. But he had some promises to keep and so he went on. A new chapter in his life began as he became Dr. Talimara Ao. Ao had promised his dying father to become a doctor and he remains a man of his words. So after the Olympics, T. Ao returned to Calcutta and completed his MBBS in 1950. Very few footballers have gone on to become doctors. Ao was not just an exception as he became the first Naga to complete his MBBS. What we understand here is that while football won him the Talimara Ao legacy, it wasn't everything about the man. After the Olympics, T. Ao returned to Calcutta and completed his MBBS in 1950. In 1953, he transferred to Kohima Hospital as medical superintendent, fulfilling his father's wish to serve the needy people of Nagaland. After Nagaland attained statehood in 1963, Ao became the state's first director of health services and held the post until his retirement in 1978. In 1968, Ao became a member of the All India Football Selection Committee. But as the Nagaland Olympic Association says, he did not get the recognition he deserved in his homeland. One of the reasons was probably because he played for India at a time when the Naga struggle for sovereignty had taken root. On 13 September 1998, he passed away at the age of 80. Even after his passing away till date, young athletes and players look up to this man who was known for his skillfulness and versatile personality. At the time when the entire nation was battling numerous socio-political issues, Tiao create a little legacy that shall be remembered for ages to come. What is even more surprising is the fact that this man had a very humble beginning of his life. Ao was born in Changki village in Nagaland on January 28, 1918 and was perhaps a born athlete. Ao was born to Subangwati Ningdangri who was the first reverend of the region and to his wife Mao Sangla Changkilari. Ao's exceptional aptitude as an athlete and footballer was evident during his days at the Jorhat Mission School, 
and then at Guwahati's famous Cotton College. Au recorded a 23 feet long jump in college meet which stood as the unofficial national record for several years. He was also an exceptional volleyball player, but it was in football where Au truly shone. Even after his death, he continues to make his families proud. There are syllabus in books of the Nagaland Board of School Education regarding the information of Dr. T. Au, which helps the younger generation to understand the great legacy he left behind. At present, Nagaland's coalition government headed by Nei Furio has decided to rename the Indira Gandhi Stadium in the capital Kohima after Talimaran. Au's achievements including being the first captain of the Indian football team ushered in a silent football revolution in the Northeast is often considered the nursery of modern Indian football. Talimaran Au occupies a glorious chapter in Indian football history. To tell us more on how the life of the legend panned out, we had a conversation with Dr. Tali Kong Chang, the second child of Dr. T. Ao. Let us take a look what he says about his father and the great son of Nagaland. I was born in the Utaigana Tahise. Tito Taila left Nite Tatu Mak Terota Tahis, Mogindi Gurianavi, Tiatok Bijane. Terota Tahise Aromotegi would see it. Baba Kiniko is here too. Kill him when I am going to so tattoo to Janeto. A little bit it to a lack dehise to go on a kinigo. Ami football killer time day to wish it. Ami Jokomoise Jokomoigana, Moy Calcutta. MBBS puri thaka tente. Ami laga club tu, Mohan Bagan club tu, kumma member tu ami kan ke, ami ke ekta Chinese acupuncturist logot loi jese. Aro tai ami ke tu acupuncture laga sui mara tente tero ta halise tai. Aro itu logot dawai bi halise. Vali bi itu treatment khudu mawa pasote tu, itu dawai laga dagi tu. It took me a miller, it tattooed in a dike. Well, maybe Tatibra, I mean, I love Aram Paise Aro, I mean, football killer, Karuni. It took them there, I mean, Janice, Thai football, college that I got them there, Thai football be killise. Well, maybe Thai Kun Tagise, I mean, take private man mosti ane, Tininga Tagise. Manet I do. एक ता स्टार था किसे, एक ता लेजेंड था किसे, कोई ना अमिकन तो ये तो तब जब भी बुजुर्गले अलग छोटो था किसे, वाली भी ताते पड़ा है अमितो जानी से, इल भी अराउंड से 1968, 69, 70 ये तो ईयर माचूते एक साल दे मुझे ये तो टैटूज दिखेंगे ना हमारे बाबा के ये तो होती से, तो तय अमिके who managed to lead the Indian football team to the Olympics while also worked to get a doctor's degree. In this, we can see his perseverance and dedication to life's work. As we look forward to Indian's rise in Olympics and soccer, we must not forget the immense contribution of Dr. Ao, who made the whole Nagaland proud. That is all for now. For the rest of the news and updates, stay tuned to Nagaland TV.